Hello, I hope we are all good. Yeah, here comes another session. Today we'll be looking at the limit derivatives. So getting the limit derivatives. Limits it's when something like this. In most cases we just um, substitute. Let's say the limit of x as it approaches two on this function of x plus two. Then in this case is when we find the limit, we just substituting x with two. Then we're gonna have we're gonna end up with x being two plus the another two. Then our limits for this will be four. Yeah, the same approach is when the limit actually calculating limit is the same as calculating the gradient. Let's say the limit of h as it approaches negative one on what function on this function of h squared minus one then meaning the gradient will be just direct substitution of putting negative one or squared minus one outside then this becomes one one minus one is one you see then that's all we do with limits then we jump straight into derivatives then derivatives that's when we derive that's when you it will help you when you find turning point of a cubic function it will help you when you find um, the point of inflation of a cubic function then um, how do you go about it um, for instance let's say we have a, a function f at x let's say it's equals to it's equals to x squared minus x right when we find the derivative of it, we just simply say in f, and then it's denoted by a, an exponent one here. I don't know how they call it, but yeah, it's just to show that now we are deriving. What we do, let me use a different color. We are taking the exponent and multiplying it with the coefficient. In this case, the coefficient is one, then it's going to be two times one as the coefficient. This is the exponent. And then we have x but since we use the exponent then from the same exponent we subtract one right you saw what i did we take it to the coefficient and subtract it one when we take it back then with this one as well we're going to have one here negative one then it's going to be negative one times this exponent which is one of the same x then because we had one, we are still subtracting one. Right, and then at the end, our derivative for this one will be two times one is two, x, two minus one is one, uh, one negative one times one is one, negative one. Then here you're gonna have x to the exponent z. Law of exponents tells us anything to the exponent zero is one, then we're gonna end up with two x minus one. So this is the derivative of this L. Yeah, they can further say find the second derivative. It's important as I said for point of inflation. Then second derivative will just be we are no longer deriving the first one, we're just deriving the second one to make it second derivative. Then we're going to drag this by saying 2. The next, there's an exponent 1. Then it's going to be 2 times 1. Um, x, we still have 1 minus the 1. Minus this one. Right? But remember, this one has like a, a coefficient of x, which is 0. That's why it's 1. But actually, in most cases, when your coefficient doesn't have when when one of your terms doesn't have an x you just make it is equals to zero it's a law the derivative the derivative of a constant number c is equals to uh, zero i think it's written like that i'm not sure i believe right then we, here we're just going to end up with this taking us to two times 1 is 2 to the exponent x 0 whereby it's just 2 so I hope 
uh, I'm here and now you understand how to get the first derivative this one and the second derivative this one mm, you can do more exercises on it let's just do let's say we have f of x whereby is equals to x squared um x cubed let's just say x cubed minus x squared then the first derivative here in this case is just going to be 3 times 1 which is 3 since it's 3 minus 1 then it's going to be left with 2 minus 2 into here times negative 1 is just going to be 2 to the exponent 1 and then we just leave it like that then the second derivative of this function is going to be 2 times 3 which is 6 oh my apologies about that let's carry on then as i said this 6 comes from 3 2 to the exponent times square by 3 6 and then we have x ouch we have x 2 minus 1 we are left with 1 now minus this one as an exponent coming here is just going to be 2 then the same thing same one not minus 1 is going to be x0 then anything to the exponent 0 is 1 then we just leave it like this i hope to this point everybody understands right then there's an important uh, principle called the first principle first principle with the first principle it has an equation which will help us to get the derivative then the derivative of any function it's just going to be you can get it this easy way or you can use the first principle and when the first principle has a formula whereby its limit as h approaches zero and then the formula is similar to a gradient actually it's just calculating the gradient as i explained prior but the limit we're just calculating the gradient between two points between f at x plus h and f at x only yes and then we carry on like a babysitter today sorry guys so sorry, sorry sorry let's continue then we're going to use this formula to just derive um, this first equation you remember this equation we are just gonna derive it using the first principle and then we have to get the same answer this answer right yes so let's go for it then here we go check f at x f at x is this one so f at x h where you see x you put x plus h for this variable only then let's go for it for this variable let's have limit h approaches zero mm, excuse it for this f at x where we see x it's like direct substitution where we have f at 2 we know wherever you see x we put 2 now wherever we see x we put x plus h where is where is here then x over x plus h to the exponent 2 the other feature at center x plus h will come x plus h so the whole thing ashi minus f at x f at x is just the original right but remember it has to mul multiply it has to multiply like a negative number so here is a trigger if you like a negative one here is a trigger if you like a hard bracket whereby it's going to be three x squared minus x all squared that's all the answer and then all over h minus zero I hope to this point everything makes sense then we carry on with the limit as h approaches zero whereby we have the line and then h 
below the denominator h minus 0 we use just the h and then here we multiply out then it's going to be x squared plus 2xh do the foil thing plus h squared remember here you're going to put two brackets multiply out and then here minus x and then negative plus positive will be minus h here as well it's going to be minus h x x squared not h negative and negative plus x right and then we carry on we add the like terms above sh lim sh approaches zero like terms this let's use a different color this one cancels this one this one cancels that one it's minus positive then we are only left with uh, we are only left with 2xh plus h squared minus h all over h then the next step we take common factor we factorize using h h into only h there can be so many common factors above but we only take h out so that it simplifies our work x 2x if we take h here if we take h here it's going to be plus h left if we take h here it's going to be minus one right then now we can see that this h cancels this h why did the h have to cancel because if we were doing direct remember here we're doing direct substitution just substituting h with negative one if we had to substitute h with zero here everything will be undefined we have to simplify it first yes then now we're only left with limit sh is sh approaches zero where you only left with 2x plus h minus 1. Then this one is very easy. Where you see h, you make it 0. Then this becomes 0. Your answer is only 2x minus 1. 2x sorry 2x minus 1 here 2x minus 1 here is the same as 2x minus 1 there so you can use this simpler way to derive or you can use the first principle in most cases they're going to tell you that use the first principle it carries around five marks to use the uh, the first principle otherwise if they even specify just quickly do it and move to the next question thank you so much for listening see you in the next video and god bless i i apologize for the interruptions today but content to content education education